Hello friends, in today's episode we look at a common okra variety that's very easy to grow and absolutely delicious. If you like watching our videos, please do support us by clicking on the support button. Every contribution matters. So we have soaked our okra seeds in water overnight and this is the Clemson spineless variety of okra and by soaking the seeds in water you can separate the bad seeds as you can see here they float on the top and then you are ready to sow your seeds. Now I have sown my okra seeds in May. You can sow your seeds as long as the daytime temperatures are above 70 Fahrenheit and the nighttime temperatures are at least 60 or higher. If they are not, you might want to wait for some time because okra loves warm weather and you need warm weather to grow okra plants. This is also a good time to do a soil test. If you haven't done a soil test before, check out the video on your screen now and then you can test your soil, make sure your soil has adequate nutrients before you start your plants. Okras are heavy feeders, so you need to make sure that your soil has a lot of rich organic matter, a lot of compost, manure, and if you're using slow-release fertilizers, mix it into your soil when preparing your raised beds. And remember that okra plants can get very tall. These plants grew up to 6 to 10 feet in height and although the Clemson spineless doesn't grow as tall as some of the other okra varieties, it still eats quite a lot as you'll soon see. But because these okra plants grow so tall, you need to make sure that you've spaced out the plants pretty well. You may want to leave at least about a foot gap between the plants. So in this raised bed, I'm planting about 25 okra plants. So the Clemson okra plant grows pretty fast as you can see here within about 25 days the plants have emerged and the reason it's called the spineless okra is because it doesn't have those spines that are you know those prickly spines that come on the okra pods these plants don't have that so that's a good thing because you know, you can harvest your okra without getting all those spines in your hands and as you can see here, the plants have grown pretty well now. Now, if you are not using a slow release fertilizer, this is the time to add a liquid fertilizer like fish or seaweed, an all purpose fertilizer. You can even use fertilizers that are specified for vegetables and tomatoes. They were great for okra plants. The okra flowers look very pretty and they are usually pollinated by either bees or by wind. So if you're not getting a lot of okra pods being formed, you can hand pollinate them. If you want to know about hand pollination techniques, do check out the video on your screen here. You can get an idea of how to hand pollinate your plants. And 90 days since sowing, we are ready for our first harvest. The Clemson spineless okra produces pods pretty quickly compared to the other okra varieties. And as you can see here, these pods look very good. No spines on them, which is a great thing when you're harvesting them. So let's go ahead and harvest a few okra. Now I've been able to harvest a lot of okra from these plants each day. And as the plants grew bigger and the season started getting warmer, the pods started becoming bigger in size. Now you do not want to wait for a long time to harvest your okra pods. Harvest them when they are tender. You will get the best taste out of them if you harvest them tender and you can see that you can even harvest them using your hands. You don't need any tools to harvest them. So how does the Clemson spineless okra variety compare to the other okra varieties we've grown? Well, this is a great okra variety. It produces very delicious pods, decently sized pods. 
The plant doesn't grow very tall, but it does produce a lot of okra, as you can see here. I was able to harvest a lot of okra throughout the growing season, which is about six to eight months for this okra plant. And that's how our okra looks like. Very nice, very clean looking pods that are very delicious. So there we have it. That was our review of the Clemson spineless okra variety. Do let me know if you grow okra and if you do grow okra, which are your favorite varieties to grow. And I'll see you again soon. Happy gardening.